Imagine a structure so massive it could fit more than 20 Empire State Buildings inside. A giant cube that's simply bigger than anything humans have ever built before. But that's just one of many mega projects currently underway that are completely redefining the limits of engineering. From a dam that would be three times more powerful than the Three Georges to the most extreme railway humanity has ever attempted to build. Hey, I'm Luis, this is Megabuilds, and here are five of the biggest and most mind blowing mega projects in the world. Deep in the eastern Himalayas, on the edge of the Tibetan plateau, flows one of the most powerful rivers in Asia, the Yalong Tsangpo. This body of water drops thousands of meters as it winds down through the deepest canyon on Earth. And this canyon is very, very deep. For comparison, the Grand Canyon in the US is only around 1,800 meters deep. Here at the Yalong Tsangpo, it is more than three times that amount. When it comes to hydroelectric power, you probably won't find any other place on Earth as promising as this one. And that's precisely why China has set their sights on this remote area deep in the Tibetan mountains. Because what they're building here could become the single most powerful source of electricity the world has ever seen. This is the Medoc Hydropower Station. By all accounts, this dam is a mega project of unprecedented scale. And honestly, when you take a look at the numbers, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around how big and powerful it really is. And that goes for every other mega project in this video. Once fully built, it is expected to generate as much as 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity each year. For comparison, the Three Georges Dam, which is currently the most powerful in the world, generates only around a third of that amount. This would make the Madoc Hydropower Station the biggest power generating facility of any kind. And although all of that already sounds extremely impressive on its own, what makes this project even more extreme isn't just its sheer size, it's also the very location where it's being constructed. This mega project is being built in this area right here, called the Great Bend. What's so special about this specific location is that it's where the Yalong Tsangpo takes a sharp U-turn and drops dramatically in elevation. Over 2000 meters in just this short stretch alone. This drop creates an enormous potential for hydroelectric generation. And it's also the reason why they chose this spot in the first place. However, this location also comes with a few major drawbacks. It's extremely remote and the terrain is incredibly steep unstable and dangerous. On top of all that, this entire region also sits in a seismically active zone. In 1950, the region experienced one of the most severe earthquakes ever recorded. Measuring 8.6 on the Richter scale, the tremors were felt as far away as Calcutta, and water disturbances were registered even in England and Norway. The earthquake killed almost 800 people in the sparsely populated region and caused landslides which blocked the Yalong Tsangpo for 8 days. When the natural dam finally broke, it created a 7 meter high wave that killed over 500 people. So pretty much everything that makes construction difficult, you will find here. And that begs the question, how exactly are they planning to build it? There isn't much detailed information about its construction, but what we do know is that there will be two main parts to this mega project. First, there will be a total of five hydropower stations that will be scattered around the Great Bend. The first of these has already begun construction back in July 2025. The second and probably more difficult part of this mega project will be the construction of four tunnels that would cut right through the mountains and divert the flow of the Yalong Tsangpo. Their plan is to finish all of this by 2033, with an estimated cost of more than 140 billion dollars. It's also worth mentioning that this mega project is not like your typical dam, where a large amount of water is stored in a reservoir. The Madoc hydropower station is what's called a run of the river dam. Instead of storing water in a huge reservoir, it channels the natural flow of the river through tunnels and turbines to generate electricity. With construction on the project having already started, there are some concerns about its potential effects on the environment and the geopolitical stability of the region. 
The Yalung Tsangpo passes through India and Bangladesh. Any significant alteration to its flow could have serious consequences for hundreds of millions of people downstream. From disrupting agriculture and ecosystems to even triggering geopolitical tensions in a region that has historically been marked by border disputes. So whether this mega project ends up as a groundbreaking achievement of human engineering or a source of political and environmental tension still remains to be seen. But this isn't the only mega project cutting through the Himalayas. Just a few kilometers away, another engineering marvel is currently being built. And it's doing the impossible. Building a high-speed railway through some of the harshest and most unforgiving terrain on Earth. This is the Sichuan Tibet Railway. A 1,600 km rail line that will connect Chengdu to the Tibetan capital of Lhasa. As it currently stands, traveling between the two cities by car takes up up to two entire days on winding mountain roads. But once fully completed, this new railway will cut that travel time to just 13 hours. The line is being built in three main sections. The first one is a 140 km segment that opened in 2018 and runs between Chengdu and Yan. The second section from Lhasa to Ningchi opened back in 2021 and became the very first fully electrified railway in all of Tibet. And now the third and final section from Yan to Ningchi is the real challenge. This 1000 km stretch will pass through some of the most geologically complex terrain on Earth. And one of the main challenges will be the extreme elevation changes in the region. In fact, more than half of the entire line will be built more than 3500 meters above sea level. And over a quarter, even above 4000 meters. This railway will be built so high up that the trains passing through here will have their own dedicated oxygen systems to prevent altitude sickness. Let that sink in for a moment. But it's not just the altitude that makes this mega project such a monumental task. It's also the sheer scale of engineering required to make it possible. Over 90% of railway will consist of tunnels or bridges. In total, there will be more than 100 tunnels and 120 bridges across the line. A few of the tunnels will even stretch for more than 30 kilometers, making them some of the longest in the world. The Yigong Tunnel, for example, would become the world's fifth longest railway tunnel at 42.5 kilometers. Once completed, the Sichuan Tibet Railway will become one of the most technically challenging mega projects ever built. And just like the Madoc Hydropower Station, it will be a project that pushes the boundaries of what can be built in extreme environments. Speaking of extremes, our next mega project takes us from the towering peaks of the Himalayas to the shores of the Mediterranean. Here, between the island of Sicily and the Italian mainland, lies the Strait of Messina. A narrow body of water just three kilometers across at its narrowest point. On paper, that might not seem like much. But for over a century, building a permanent crossing here has been one of Italy's most ambitious, most debated and most technically challenging dreams. Enter the Strait of Messina Bridge. A bridge that has gone through decades of false starts and political back and forth. So why exactly has it taken this long? And why is it so difficult to bridge this tiny gap? The real challenge comes with where it's being built. The Strait of Messina is notorious for its strong currents, high winds and seismic activity. The location of the bridge itself even goes directly over a major tectonic boundary between the African and Eurasian plates. Any bridge that's built here needs to withstand winds of up to 120 km per hour and earthquakes exceeding magnitude 7. To make this possible, engineers are designing the bridge with an aerodynamic profile to reduce wind resistance and flexible structural systems for absorbing seismic shocks. Aside the location, there's also the challenge of building the longest suspension bridge in the world. The numbers on this are simply insane. The main span alone will stretch a total of 3.3 kilometers, making it the longest suspension bridge in the world. But not only that. Its two supporting pylons on either end will rise to a height of almost 400 meters. 
For comparison, that's even taller than the architectural height of the Empire State Building. Once completed, it would become the tallest bridge in the world, as well as the tallest structure in the entire country. The bridge will carry six lanes of road traffic and two railway tracks, directly connecting Sicily to mainland Italy and the rest of Europe for the first time in history. Right now, crossing the strait means relying on ferries, a process that can take between 30 minutes to an hour depending on the waiting times. The new bridge would cut that to just a four minute drive. Construction has recently been approved by the government and work is set to begin at the end of 2025. If it succeeds, it won't just be a new world record holder. It will also stand as a symbol of Italian engineering. A project that has been dreamed about, debated and delayed for more than a century, finally becoming reality. But now we leave the Mediterranean behind and head to Southeast Asia. To a country that has already built one of the most celebrated airports in the world. And yet, it's about to get an expansion so massive that it might as well be a completely new airport of its own. This is Changi Airport Terminal 5. A single terminal that is said to be even bigger than all the four existing terminals combined. Once completed, it will be able to handle up to 50 million passengers every year, increasing the airport's capacity by almost 60%. Terminal 5 is the centerpiece of a massive Changi East development. A 1000 hectare expansion to Changi Airport complete with a new runway, taxiways and even an entire cargo complex. There will also be a new transportation hub built right into the new terminal, which seamlessly connects passengers to trains, buses, taxis and potentially even ferries. Additionally, an entire urban district meant for business and lifestyle destinations will be built connected directly to the terminal. This place will have shops, restaurants, offices, hotels and even apartments. This massive expansion is currently being built in anticipation of a doubling in passenger volume over the next 20 years. When it comes to operations, Terminal 5 will make use of cutting-edge technology at every step. We're talking about AI-powered aircraft tracking, fully automated baggage handling systems and a fleet of autonomous people movers. Some tasks such as monitoring aircraft, ferrying passengers and loading baggage will be completely done without human intervention. Dramatically saving costs and time and even potentially reducing the amount of delays. But of course also cutting down on jobs. The layout of the terminal itself is designed with flexibility in mind. Instead of one massive fixed concourse, Terminal 5 will feature modular subterminals. These can be expanded during peak travel seasons or scaled down during quieter periods. They could even be isolated from each other in the event of yet another global pandemic. Although connected to the rest of Changi Airport by underground tunnels, the entirety of this new terminal is a completely separate building of its own. Construction officially began in May 2025 and the terminal is expected to open in the mid-2030s. If you thought that the previous mega project was already massive, then wait until you see this one. Because our final stop takes us to the heart of Saudi Arabia, where they're building a skyscraper that defies traditional architecture, urban planning and even imagination itself. A structure so unbelievably massive, you'll just have to see it for yourself. Welcome to the Mukab. Measuring 400 meters long, 400 meters wide and 400 meters tall, the Mukab will be the biggest man-made structure in the entire world by volume. And when we say it will be the biggest, we mean it quite literally. Once fully built, the Mukab will be almost five times bigger than the current record holder. Dwarfing anything humanity has ever built. To put that into perspective, you could fit 20 Empire State Buildings inside of it and still have room to spare. The Mukab will be the crown jewel of a massive new development in Riyadh called New Muraba. And just like any other recent Saudi Arabian mega project, it will have futuristic architecture, luxury developments and cutting edge technology woven into every detail. But what lies inside of this enormous cube is arguably the most interesting part. The Mukab will contain an entire city within its walls. According to official press releases, the plan is to place a colossal dome inside the cube, covered either by a gigantic screen or a holographic display. Let's say they opt for the more realistic version. 
A screen similar to the one used inside the Las Vegas sphere. Well, if you thought the sphere was already impressive, the cube screen would need to be more than 20 times larger. It's supposed to make the visitors feel like they're at the bottom of the ocean, or on the surface of Mars, or in a magical fantasy realm. At the center of all this will be a spiral tower, full of restaurants, cinemas and hotels. This tower alone will be larger than the Eiffel Tower, and the biggest indoor structure ever built. There will also be towers at the corners of the cube, packed with plenty more rooms and facilities. Not to mention the top of the structure, which is planned to be turned into a giant garden. In total, the entire megastructure would be able to accommodate a quarter of a million people. The design is inspired by the modern Najdi architectural style. Its outer facade will be covered with intricate geometric designs, and the building will be positioned so it dominates the skyline from miles away. Of course, a project of this scale comes with extraordinary engineering challenges. And to be honest, we're still pretty much unsure how exactly they're going to pull this off assuming it's even possible in the first place. But despite all the odds stacked against their favor, construction on the Mukab has actually already begun, with millions of cubic meters of earth already excavated for its foundations, and construction is set to be completed by 2030. Whether that timeline is realistic or not, well, you can make up your own mind. So what do you think? Which of these mega projects will be completed in the near future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.